the setting of this is just like absolutely outrageous. Ladies and gentlemen, we are Tavo The Real Deal. Thank you so much. Aaron Pine, Emmanuel Ellis, Ali Mack. My name is Tavo Panazzi. Thank you good. so much. We Have congratulate each other on a good break and then we go on. Tavo and The Real Deal. Put your hands together one more time. Tavo and The Real Deal. Absolutely fantastic, absolutely brilliant. Oh, awesome. Amazing, well done. Bit of Maxwell, bit of like oh, Cody yeah. Chestnut, bit of uh, D'Angelo. Yeah. Yeah. And tonight we're going to witness on stage a, a band that I have the very pleasure of representing. Ladies and gentlemen, let me present you Tavo and the Real Deal. Thank you. What song, what song, what's the last song you listened to? Seriously? <laughs> I'm not gonna ask you what you think because that would be a setup. But I know, I feel like, wait, let me try, let me try and be a Londoner for a second. Okay, so, Naughty Boy famously did recordings for Emily Sun, I mean, he produced Emily Sunday's record. <laughs> Come here. Um, and he, he was really instrumental. He's been very instrumental in, in kind of giving us the leg up. This is where the fam is. So they eat. Well, me and Ali knew each other from music college, I suppose. Uh, I got a phone call from Tavo one day, having never met him. Yeah, he, he was looking for a percussionist. Um, my name had been put forward, so uh, we hooked up for rehearsal, um, and it clicked. It worked well, and that was it. Do you know what it is? This is this is the beauty of coming from or being based in West Yorkshire. People don't ask what also what's how much is going to be, what time. I don't know. It's like sounds good. Cool. Okay. Let's start from, it just sounds good. So already you just get together just for the music, just to see what, whether it can satisfy and nourish both ways. And then that's it. Then you start from there. Now the sheriff's telling me to pull up. Surprising that like this is sort of worked from the start so so well. I mean, we've all come from different backgrounds. Me and Ali, me and I studied jazz, but we were also very we we played in the band together. I used to run, which did like a lot of Latin American stuff, kind of Latin jazz and things oh, like cool. that. We both enjoyed that. Like uh, Ali's into his house music. I've always been into my soul and stuff. Well, Herbie Hancock's always been a major influence of mine. Well, I aspire to get a lot from him. Yeah. 
Afri African music. But what was Afrobeat then? It was a gimmick. You know, trying to be, at that time I was fighting wars, man. There was soul music in Nigeria, you know, and it was, you know, I had to fight, so I gave my own music name too, you know, Afrobeat. You know, just gimmick. But now, I've Past that stage, uh, transcendent stage, I think. Trying to put music Africa. more into Africa, you know. It's not. It's really African music, you know. That's really the main reason we're in London. <laughs> <laughs> because we're getting some free Dr. Martin shoes. Other players. Yes. They're really nice. The only thing is. Have you spoken to them downstairs? No. What did they say? Yeah, no, no, I don't think that they might have a. a, a oh, no, no. I love it. That's the one. And I just think for the summer. Yeah. Yeah, they're a lot of Yeah. It's, okay, I'll do the same. I'll, I'll keep mine on as well. Also, tomorrow. Um, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be nerve wracking. Um, the sound is going to be excellent. Uh, we're going to have a good time. Everyone who comes is going to have a good time. We're just going to do exactly what we've been doing for the last three years. Have fun um, and more fun and make sure that everyone who comes is educated, empowered and entertained. That is the mission. That is what we live to do and that's what we hope the music does for everyone tomorrow. stressing out and even like the staff here were like um let's lift back and shuffle that way Carbo and I got introduced by a mutual friend I believe Dennis Dennis John yeah um happened to me at a time when um I'd been out of doing any kind of music for quite a long time we started off um kind of uh Working our way up the ladder, um, going from kind of small bars, venues, um, the gigs that we were getting offered, we were always taking them. Um, and then we started um, trying to get some support slots with touring artists. Uh, and we got in with um, a couple of venues who helped us out with that and um, got to the stage that after a while they were inviting us to um, support the acts that they thought would be appropriate. Okay. So. Uh, we really enjoyed that, you know, we got to support um, Eric Robeson and um, uh, Every Sunshine. Uh, who else have we done? Cody Chestnut. Uh, Cody Chestnut. Oh, yeah. Leon um, Ware. Leon Ware. Alice Russell. Prince. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> One stone. I've always seen kind of what we've done here in terms of like over the three years we've been a band as trying to like attempting to work um, work smart instead of working hard and I feel like you've led that primarily primarily because okay. primarily. <laughs> sometimes you feel like you can burn out I watched the documentary about the Commodores and Lionel Richie and he talks about and in that documentary Kenny Rogers says Every band has got about five years in, in that from let's start a band to let's be counting to let's make something of ourselves. Yeah, it's a five year business. period before life starts to sneak in and then everyone's like, oh, I've got things to do. <laughs> oh, guys, it's time. So if you if you don't plan that almost five years in a sense, if you don't try and be a step ahead of yourself, that five years comes quick and fast. Like we're only year three and we don't even feel, it doesn't even feel like it. Yeah. But, in no time, Aaron was getting married to Esperanza Spalding. <laughs> Is it Esperanza Spalding? <laughs> <laughs> aspiration of mine. If not Esperanza Spalding, then um, Alicia Keys. Well, who, who's already married? Bass Nord. Naughty Bass. Look at this. I played with piano. Tabo, and the why Tabo, even hide the fact Tabo says thanks to the band. 
and how great it was before they go on. Yeah. Yeah. Epitomizing the Sun Tzu theory that you visualize victory before the battle. I'm going to do the introduction in 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, that's cool. Yeah, okay. And then um, I'm going to say a little bit. Cool. I'm not going to be too long. And then that's it. And I'm going to say that. So are we just going to say good night at the yeah, end? Yeah, yeah. I might come back on and go, thank you very much, everybody.
Myself immensely. Got to play on that bad boy piano. Mix it up with some different keyboards. We are a touring working band. And yeah. There's nothing more that fulfills us than touring. And live, rather than playing music live, live we're a live band. Yes. So we would love to do that as much as possible. So. Take 